Picture this, it's a balmy summer evening in 1981, and you're nestled on the worn-out couch in your childhood living room. The flickering television screen bathes the room in a soft, nostalgic glow. Suddenly, a catchy theme tune bursts forth, and a red-suited superhero takes flight, soaring clumsily across the screen. You're watching the greatest American hero, and it's your first encounter with the charmingly awkward adventures of Ralph Hinckley, the unassuming schoolteacher gifted with an alien super suit. As you chuckle at his hilariously inept attempts at heroism and cringe at his clumsiness, you can't help but get drawn into this quirky world of spandex-clad mishaps. It's a show that makes you laugh, think, and wonder about the unexpected turns life can take. Now, fast forward to today, and we're here to uncover some fascinating tidbits about this beloved series. So, grab your cape, because we're about to embark on a journey through the random facts and hidden gems of the greatest American hero. American hero. American he The Greatest American Hero, a TV series that debuted in 1981, blended elements of comedy, superhero fantasy, and drama, creating a unique and memorable viewing experience. The show's premise revolved around a high school teacher named Ralph Hinckley, who gains extraordinary superpowers from a group of extraterrestrial beings. Equipped with a special red suit, Hinckley embarks on a journey to fight crime and uphold justice, often with the reluctant assistance of his skeptical FBI partner, Bill Maxwell. The series was notable for its humorous take on the superhero genre, as Ralph struggled to master his powers and often found himself in comically awkward situations. The show's iconic characters included Ralph Hinckley, portrayed by William Catt whose genuine and relatable portrayal of a reluctant hero resonated with viewers. Robert Culp played Bill Maxwell, the gruff but well-intentioned FBI agent who served as Ralph's mentor and foil. Their dynamic, along with the witty writing, contributed to the show's charm. The greatest American hero left an indelible mark on popular culture, offering a fresh perspective on superheroes at a time when comic book adaptations were still in their infancy. Its catchy theme song, Believe It or Not, became synonymous with the show and remains instantly recognizable to this day. While the series had a relatively short run, lasting just three seasons, it remains a cult classic, appreciated for its blend of humor, heart, and unconventional take on heroism. In summary, The Greatest American Hero was a pioneering TV series of the early 1980s that offered a humorous and relatable spin on the superhero genre. With its endearing characters and iconic theme song, it left a lasting impact on popular culture, proving that even an ordinary schoolteacher could become an unlikely hero. In 1981, the TV series The Greatest American Hero captured the imagination of viewers with its quirky blend of superhero antics and comedy. Two years after the show's cancellation by ABC, NBC picked up the series and aired its reruns in a Sunday night, post-primetime time slot. This move fueled speculation that NBC was considering a revival of the series. However, these efforts culminated in the creation of the pilot episode for The Greatest American Heroine. Unfortunately, the planned revival never materialized into a full-fledged series, leaving fans with just a glimpse of what could have been. The Greatest American Heroine pilot remains an interesting footnote in the show's history, hinting at untapped potential. Additionally, Saturday Night Live played a memorable role in the legacy of The Greatest American Hero. During an episode where Robert Culp, one of the show's stars, served as a guest host, an I Spy sketch brought him face to face with Bill Cosby's character. To the delight of fans, the sketch concluded with a surprise appearance by a fully costumed Ralph from The Greatest American Hero, adding a touch of superhero charm to the popular sketch comedy show. Furthermore, a fascinating connection between the show and actor William Katz's real-life family emerged in the second season. Barbara Hale, Katz's real-life mother, made a guest appearance as Paula Hinckley, Ralph's mother, in the episode titled Who's Woo in America? This family tie added an extra layer of intrigue to the show's cast and character dynamics. In summary, The Greatest American Hero left a lasting mark on television history with its revival attempt, memorable Saturday Night Live crossover, and the intriguing casting of William Katz's real-life mother. Despite its relatively short run, the show continues to be remembered for its unique blend of comedy and superhero action. In March 2002, plans were reportedly underway at Disney to make a feature film of the television series The Greatest American Hero. 
This popular 1981 TV series centered around Ralph Hinckley, a schoolteacher who gains superpowers from an alien suit. While the film adaptation was in the works, it never materialized, and the project eventually fell through. The show's premise caused some legal ripples as well. DC Comics attempted to sue the producers for copying Superman, but in reality, the show's concept bore a closer resemblance to another DC Comics character, Green Lantern. Green Lantern also received a power ring from an alien source to become a superhero. This legal dispute added an intriguing layer to the series' history. Interestingly, during the first season of The Greatest American Hero, Ralph's son Kevin made occasional appearances. However, as the show progressed, the character of Kevin was phased out, and his presence diminished over time. While plans for a feature film and legal challenges enriched the history of the greatest American hero, the series itself remains a beloved part of television history, known for its unique take on the superhero genre. <laughs> In the 1981 TV series The Greatest American Hero, there's an interesting behind-the-scenes story about one of the main characters, Pam Davidson, played by Connie Selica. Initially, Pam was only supposed to appear in the pilot episode. The plan was to have Ralph Hinckley, the protagonist played by William Catt, date different women in each episode as a recurring gag. However, Connie Selica's performance in the pilot episode impressed the producers so much that they decided to make her a regular character on the series. Her chemistry with the cast and her portrayal of Pam resonated with viewers, leading to her becoming an integral part of the show. Additionally, there's a noteworthy anecdote involving the lead actors, William Catt and Robert Culp. At the beginning of the series, they had difficulties getting along and working with each other. This tension, however, played to their advantage as it mirrored the relationship between their characters, Ralph and Bill, in the show. Over time, Cat and Culp were able to resolve their differences and actually became good friends during the course of the series. Their on-screen chemistry benefited from their real-life friendship, making the dynamic between Ralph and Bill even more believable. Lastly, The Greatest American Hero holds the distinction of being the first work produced by Stephen J. Cannell Productions to feature the famous Cannell writing and tearing a sheet from his typewriter logo. This iconic logo would go on to become a hallmark of many successful TV series produced by Cannell Productions. In summary, The Greatest American Hero not only captivated audiences with its superhero-themed storyline, but also had fascinating behind-the-scenes developments, such as Connie Selica's unexpected regular role, the evolving friendship between William Catt and Robert Culp, and its place in television history as the inaugural show for Stephen J. Cannell Productions. Sheldon Cooper's tribute to The Greatest American Hero lives on Sheldon Cooper, the iconic character from The Big Bang Theory, is known for his extensive collection of superhero t-shirts. Among the dozens of designs he flaunts, one stands out, the Greatest American Hero t-shirt. What makes this choice remarkable is that it pays homage to a TV series from 1981, long after it was cancelled. The Greatest American Hero, created by Stephen J. Cannell, followed the adventures of Ralph Hinckley, a high school teacher who stumbles upon a super-powered suit. Despite its comic premise, the show struck a chord with viewers. Fast forward to The Big Bang Theory, which aired from 2007 to 2019, and y'all find Sheldon, portrayed by Jim Parsons, sporting the classic logo. This subtle tribute to the greatest American hero resonates with fans of both series. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of this 80 second show, which blended humor and heroics. Whether it's the quirky characters, the catchy theme song, or the nostalgic charm, the greatest American hero continues to leave its mark on pop culture. So, why does Sheldon Cooper, a character obsessed with precision and detail, choose to wear this particular t-shirt? Perhaps it's the show's timeless message of ordinary individuals doing extraordinary things that resonates with him. Or maybe, like many fans, he just can't resist the allure of a hero with a red suit, a cape, and a dash of comedy. In a world where superheroes dominate the screen, the greatest American hero still manages to stand out. Thanks in part to Sheldon Cooper's enduring tribute. Enduring tribute. Endur As we draw the curtains on this nostalgic journey through the realm of 1,981 seconds, the greatest American hero, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the indelible marks this series has left on your own personal tapestry.
Whether you've soared through the skies with Ralph Hinckley in his iconic red suit, chuckled at the antics of Bill Maxwell, or cheered on Pam Davidson's unwavering support, there's a unique connection that ties you to this timeless tale of heroism and everyday struggles. Perhaps it was the quirky blend of superhero tropes with the trials of a relatable, ordinary schoolteacher that resonated with you. Maybe the memorable theme song still echoes in your mind, reminding you of a simpler time when the world's problems could be solved, albeit clumsily, by a rookie hero. Or it could be the powerful message that anyone, even a reluctant hero with a less than perfect grasp of his powers, can make a difference. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, profound insights, or even just your fondest thoughts about the greatest American hero. In the digital realm, you have the power to unite with fellow fans, to relive those moments, and perhaps even introduce a new generation to this gem of 1980s television. Let your words be a tribute to this classic series and a testament to its enduring impact. Thank you for taking the time to revisit this beloved show and for sharing your thoughts with us. Your presence and engagement make this journey through nostalgia all the more meaningful. Until next time, keep soaring towards your own heroic adventures, and remember that the greatest heroes are often the most unexpected ones. Farewell, and may your memories of the greatest American hero continue to shine brightly in the sky of your heart. With nostalgia and admiration, patient, patient, patient.